moving to or visiting a new area can be a very mentally, emotionally, and honestly physically demanding thing because we just don't know what the intricacies and the nuances of this new place we're visiting or moving to are. And so in this video, I wanna give you 13 things you need to know before moving to or visiting Green Bay, Wisconsin. Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Andrew Guywitz. I am your host of Living in Green Bay and your local real estate agent of choice here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. Be sure to reach out to me through my contact information below if you are looking to move to the area and want to get connected. In this video today, I want to give you 13 things that you want to know before moving to Green Bay, Wisconsin. I think the list is actually much longer than that, and I'm sure the locals who watch this channel will put a ton of things in the comment section below as well, so you'll get even more information than just the 13 things I will share today. But as I was thinking through this list, I came up with 13 things that I thought were good to know, maybe a little bit of funny to know, and some of it is context and history, which you want to know moving to the Green Bay area. So let's dive in and talk about 13 things you need to know before you move to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Green Bay has been around a long time. Dating all the way back to 1634, it's actually one of the oldest settlements in the United States, with indigenous history dating even farther back than that. If you wanna learn more about the history of Green Bay, check out the local museums, as well as Heritage Hill State Park, which is this immersive experience to learn more about the buildings, dress, and all sorts of other information of that initial time as Green Bay grew and was settled in the United States. It's a great way to start your understanding and context of Green Bay and why it is the way it is. Going along with that is my next thing I wanted to share, which is that the people who live here, many of them have been here a long time. We are talking serious family heritage and lineage as you run into and cross paths with people in Green Bay, Wisconsin. So know that many people here are what you would call locals. They've been here a long time and have a very deep connection to the area. Warm up your arms, warm up your back, and warm up your legs for this next one because actually, it's kind of a lot of different things, but the next thing you need to know is about the snow in Green Bay. You will need to know how to shovel it, drive in it, and recreate in it if you're going to enjoy and have a fun time in Green Bay for a large portion of the year because we've got snow for multiple months of the year. You know, actually, you'll probably also need to know how to grill in it, how to wear shorts in it, all sorts of things because you'll see all of that and more in the Green Bay area with snow on the ground, people walking around, whatever. So be ready for the snow in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Another thing to know about the Green Bay area is the abundant opportunities for outdoor recreation. Whether it's the miles and miles of walking, hiking, and biking trails that you can have in this area, or the amazing waterways and all that they provide as far as fishing and boating and all sorts of fun like that. There are tons of different opportunities for you to get out and enjoy the beautiful scenery and outdoor landscape of the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. Where did Green Bay get its namesake, really? Well, it's focused on the waterways, and because of that, Green Bay is actually sending coal and all sorts of other goods out to the world through the bay and then into Lake Michigan. So one thing you'll experience living in Green Bay is bridges that go over the Fox River that are opening and shutting at different times, as well as just the infrastructure of big ships coming in and out, a port city with all of the things a port entails. We've got mountains of coal and all sorts of other things related to the shipping and transportation 
through the waterways of Green Bay. If you're enjoying the content so far, would you give me a thumbs up for this video? I would love to share this video with more people and giving that thumbs up to the video really helps that happen. you'll want to make sure you know about this next thing before moving to Green Bay, Wisconsin, and that is the smell. Now there's a couple contributing factors to this, and as somebody who's been here for a while myself, and as I talk to many other people, a lot of them, we kind of notice it, but you get used to it. And that is the different smells, whether it's from the paper industry, which is a huge industry in the Green Bay area, or from the bay itself. It doesn't get the name Green Bay for no reason. That LG smell is another one that you might experience in the Green Bay area. But be ready that just because you see all the beautiful nature and scenery and things around the city, doesn't mean that it smells like roses and green flowers all the time. We've got the smell of paper industry, we've got the smell of the bay, and you just gotta be ready for it. Another thing for you to know and understand in the Green Bay area is the Oneida Nation Reservation, which borders the Green Bay area and is a whole nother people group and culture for you to learn about, understand, and appreciate. Now they provide all sorts of resources for you to do that, museums and other things to learn about and immerse yourself in their culture as well. They also are woven into the fabric of the community as a whole and provide for the community economically and through all sorts of other means. So be sure to learn about and get to know the Oneida Nation and the reservation. Another thing you'll want to know about before moving to or you know visiting the Green Bay, Wisconsin area, at least in a certain time of year, is about the deer hunting. Now, I don't really care and it doesn't really matter if you like deer hunting or you don't, or if you participate or not, you need to know about it because it actually will affect your calendar and your scheduling. There is a portion of the year around Thanksgiving where if you try to really have any kind of event, you'll wonder where did all of your local friends disappear to? Well, all you have to do is drive down one of the roads, highways, whatever, and look for these little orange specks out in the woods in trees. Everybody is out hunting and enjoying the camaraderie and relational elements of hunting. It's a deep rooted thing in the state of Wisconsin and that time of year is basically a holiday on top of Thanksgiving, surrounding Thanksgiving. So be aware of that. In late November, you need to know that there's probably a very good chance your friends will be busy out experiencing their family and the hunting seasons of Green Bay. Something else you'll want to know before moving to this area is how much Green Bay and Wisconsin as a whole really wants to be better than Minnesota and Illinois. It's borders, border neighbors and rivals. So most of that dates back to the football issues and, and the competition and rivalry there. But if Minnesota's nice, Wisconsin wants to be nicer. If Illinois has a historical football franchise, Green Bay wants to have a more historical football franchise. If Minnesota has 10,000 lakes, Wisconsin has 15,000 lakes. The competition goes on and on, and it's all veiled in this Wisconsin, Minnesota, oh shucks kind of mentality on top of that. So there's just this in, intertwined competition with the states around Wisconsin. So if you ask people, they are very committed to and loyal to their state and have a lot of pride in it. Another helpful thing to know before moving to Green Bay is that Friday nights are for fish. Did you know that that fish culture in Green Bay and in Wisconsin is a big deal, especially Friday nights? You go out and have Friday night fish with your friends, family, whoever it might be, have a beverage as well, and enjoy this you know, consistent camaraderie around a meal. And so Friday night fish, you'll want to know about that. Mark your calendar, find some friends and go out and enjoy one of the really good different fish fries in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. Everyone will have their preference and favorite. Ask around and you'll get to enjoy some cool Friday night cuisine. Not too far off from that Friday night fish or maybe even included with it will be another Green Bay area, Wisconsin area staple and that is the alcoholic beverages that flow quite freely. The Green Bay area has 
tons of different local breweries, as well as some statewide and Midwestern brands that people are very loyal to. On top of that, there is the Brandy Old Fashioned, which is a twist on the original Old Fashioned, but something that many people are very passionate and committed to in the Green Bay area and in the fish fry culture as a whole. It's a Brandy Old Fashioned, not a whiskey Old Fashioned. Drinking and the culture around it is a big part of the Midwest, Wisconsin, and then Green Bay specifically. So you'll wanna be aware of that when moving here. So if everybody's getting fish and adult beverages and drinking is a big part of the culture in this area, this next one maybe won't be as surprising, but I think it's so funny and interesting. As a real estate agent, I'm in tons of houses in the Green Bay and surrounding areas. And one thing that is overwhelmingly present is bars in the houses. So everybody seems to have a bar either in their basement or in their garage. And you kind of go from one neighbor's house to the other, depending on who's hosting whatever event. But everyone seems to have this old timey bar or now people are modernizing them. But there are bars in all of these basements that people host you know, parties and, and invite people into. So if you're trying to buy a house or touring houses in Green Bay, you'll probably run into a number of dated bars in the basements or in the garages of the houses in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. No list of the things you need to know about Green Bay, Wisconsin would be complete without mentioning the Green Bay Packers. Obviously, they're a huge national brand, worldwide brand even, that brings tons of economic impact to the area as well as entertainment value, being a professional sports team, and history being founded in 1919 and having those deep roots like many other things I've talked about in the area. They are a integral, dare I say, even heartbeat thing for the Green Bay community. When people talk about the Green Bay Packers, they use the word we. They talk about we as the Packers because it's such a personal and deeply rooted connection in the area. So if you move here or visit here, it's almost impossible for you to do that without hearing about and being included in on the Green Bay Packers, whether you like sports or not. So you need to know that. Wow, 13 things that you now know about the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. Hopefully this video gave you some value. If it did, give it a thumbs up, please. I'd really appreciate that. And do not forget to subscribe to the channel to get more information and learn more about the Green Bay, Wisconsin area as well. And hit that little bell to get notifications when we release new content. Thanks again for watching. My name is Andrew Guywitz. I'm your local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area, and we will see you on another video of Living in Green Bay soon.